hi everyone so today we are going to learn how we can draw violet flowers starting from the flower bud till different design and perspective of the flowers and leaves now you can use normal ball pen to draw everything or you can use needle pen as well i'm going to create basic guideline for myself with the help of pencil and then we are going to trace everything with the help of pen so let's start with the first one so it's a flower bird and all the petals are closed you can see the sepals and base of the flower but petals are quite closed so you can create a small stem and then you can create three sepals and small flower base and then you can create an oval kind of shape and then divide this oval kind of shape with multiple structure within it to resemble multiple petals are in there but very close to each other second one is also a flower bud but little bit open so we can see few petals so again you can create the base of the flower you can create sepals sepals are a small small structure which we can see at the base now when you create petals for this particular flower bud you can create two petals little bit separated with each other so that we can see this is about to bloom and third one also i'm going to repeat the same thing what i did for the first two so creating the base of the flower stem sepals but this time i'm going to create few petals visible so this one is the first petal little bit wavy pattern around the edges then you can create some behind petal so you can say it's a flower bird or you can say this is half bloomed flower so this is not bloomed yet properly but something like this you can do so closed one little bit open one and then half bloomed flower now trace everything with the help of pen so that we can see what's going on clearly so i'm tracing everything with the help of pen i'm using 01 mm Uh, needle pen but you can use normal ball pen as well it's totally fine to start with so third one is like side perspective wherein we are seeing the side of the flower which is not fully bloomed yet now you can do some extra shading and detailing around the stems you can cross contour the base of the flower cross contouring means creating lines and parallel lines according to the object shape to get some extra shade around that particular area and then you can do little bit of shading around the petal side as well so i'm going from base of the flower towards outside with soft hand to create all these lines and patterns to add some extra shading and detailing into my flower buds you can go from outward to inward direction or you can go from inward to outward direction totally fine totally up to you how you like to do shading around your petals so you can do something like this to beautify all these stuff Now let's learn how we can draw flowers. So for the flower you can either create a round shape or you can create an oval shape. And then divide this into two equal quarters. Or else you can create an oval shape as well, little bit tilted towards left or right based on what kind of perspective you need. So I'm keeping one in the round shape and another one in the oval shape. And then you can create the middle part having little bit triangle kind of structure and then you can create one big petal towards downward having little wavy pattern into it and then you can create two more petals left and right so this is the front three petals which we can see in the violet flower and then we need to create two more petals at the back side so this is little bigger as compared to the front petals but usually behind and something like this we can see three towards uh, outer area and two behind and then you can create a small stem when it comes to the oval shape you can divide oval shape into two parts creating a round shape inside it 
then create a middle section of the flower and then you can create three petals like this but you can divide this into a butterfly kind of shape and creating four petals like this or else you can create three petals also it's totally fine so i have created four petals for the front layer and two petals at the back layer because this one is tilted towards the right side the perspective is like that so you can define your own perspective but most of the flowers i have seen in the violet flowers are around the same kind of perspective the only difference are in designs of this violet flower and the petal section that we can see in the front layer So in this one I have created wavy pattern for the front petals. Now when it comes to the design I am creating zigzag kind of pattern around the outer layer or around the front layer. So I have done some zigzag uh, kind of pattern to creating something like this and then create lines to add some more shapes into it. So perspective are simple when it comes to the violet flower you, but you can create n number of design and patterns when it comes to the violet flower so i have created some design for the front layer now for the back layer you can create some extra shading to make it little lighter i don't want to create too heavy things just to save our time otherwise you can do fine shading and detailing to beautify all this stuff Although the agenda of this video is not to beautify the flowers but to learn how we can draw the basic structure. Now in this one we have created four petals for the front and two petals for the back. So I'm creating some vines like a tree branch structure so creating one line and then dividing into two branches creating y kind of shape and then divide more and more and more when you are going towards the edges now for the back petals what we have done for the front petals for the first flower we are repeating the same thing but creating these zigzag patterns around the edges so n number of design and pattern you can create for your violet flowers so i'm keeping the area a little darker so you can go again and again and create multiple lines to make it little darker and then you can do the same thing for inner edges as well so we have this one tilted towards the right side now you can create one which is tilted towards the left side so create oval shape accordingly and then this time i'm creating front three petals on the round kind of shape rather than keeping the edges wavy so as you can see the first one having little bit wavy pattern around the edges but this one is quite smooth and then back petals again two in this particular case as well now the perspective is little bit different but i'm going to create the design very different from the first two you can create stem and then you can fill the smaller section that we have created in the front petal little darker so fill those areas completely to make it very dark and you can trace everything with the help of pen you can rub all the unwanted pencil mark and then again create some zigzag pattern like this to add design into it so you can keep it like this like i have done or else you can do some more design into the front petal so i am going around the edges creating some more patterns into it you can repeat the same thing for all three petals that we have in the front and then you can do some light shading for the background petals or the back petals so with the help of very soft hand you can create some shading around the edges to make it little dark 
again focus on design rather than beautifying your stuff for now because anyways you can use any medium to paint all these things now if you want you can add some dots around it this process is called stippling the more dots you will create the darker shade you will get but i don't need any darker shade so i'm keeping all these dots at distance the density of dots is quite less so you can definitely use all these sketching methods to beautify your stuff now let's concentrate on the leaves so you can create leaves either little longer like this or else little wider and in round kind of structure like this so you can create a basic structure with the help of pencil the perspective of the leaves are also in different different direction now when it comes to the edges you need to create some patterns around the edges like this let's repeat the same thing for this one so i'm creating a curve kind of structure around the edges to keep these leaves little serrated as well but these are not deeply serrated these are smoothly serrated we can say and you can keep different directions of leaves as well now let's trace everything so that you can see clearly what i'm doing so create all these curves around the edges the curves around the edges is towards inside and you will see something like this so this is the basic structure of violet flower leaves now when it comes to the shading and extra detailing you can create leaf vines like this so create sub branches like this you can repeat the same thing for all the leaves that we have and you can keep your leaves like this it's totally fine this is the basic structure now if you want to do some extra shading you can apply some hatching method to get some dark shade into it so hatching means creating parallel lines close to each other the more closer the these lines are the greater shade you will get so i'm keeping this one as is in this one i'm going to create all these lines multiple time you can also do some cross hatching cross hatching means creating cross line around the parallel lines that we have created to get some more dark and dark shade all these comes under sketching methods so you can do something like this to beautify your leaves as well now let's learn one more perspective this is the back side of the flower so you are seeing the flower from the back so keeping three petals and then you can create sepal and you can see the stems clearly so you can see the back of the flower as well you can see the sepals you can see the stems because we are seeing these flowers from the back so this is also one of the perspective you can create while creating group of violet flower trace everything do some extra shading and detailing rub all the unwanted pencil mark and we are done so we are done with the flower buds we are done with the flower perspectives and leaves as well so hope you have liked this video this video is helpful for you guys please do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and watching my videos see you guys in the next video